Hey guys, it's Bub here, and this year we're going to be taking a look at Elementary OS, which is a Linux distribution that doesn't aim to clone Mac OS, but is very similar to Mac OS. We've taken a look at operating systems previously, like ParaOS Cupertino, ParaOS NiceCore, that are designed to be exact clones of Mac OS. That is not Elementary OS's goal. The goal of Elementary OS is to not clone it but rather be familiar for Mac, for Mac users who want to come over to the Linux ecosystem. Elementary OS is in no way a new concept. It has existed for quite a while, as far as I'm aware of. I remember this OS existing way back into my childhood when I first took a look at it. Um, but hey, we're here to take a look at it, and let's see how similar it is to Mac OS. So the first thing we get is our language selection. Uh, keyboard layout selection and then we can either try the demo mode which is your live environment the erase disk and install or do a custom install we're just gonna erase disk and install because this is just a virtual machine and again it reminds us this is a virtual machine saying hey some may run slowly freeze or not function properly we're gonna install anyway onto this disk um, we're not gonna encrypt because it's a hearts a virtual machine um, we are going to we're not going to check that because of VM and we're going to erase and install it is now partitioning our drive and if we click this we can actually see everything that's going on like most Linux distros so we're going to wait for this to go ahead and install and then we'll be back alright and we can see here that elementary OS 7.1 has been installed so we're going to go ahead and restart our device and hit enter and I do believe it just booted us oh never mind Okay, so we are actually running off the hard drive now. It just fooled me because it looks like the same screen. So now it's going to ask us to create an account now that we're actually into our system. So we're going to just call this uh, elementary. I like how every key you press, it changes the color of the logo. Um, if I backspace, it keeps it the same. Um, username elementary. We'll make the password LM, and we'll leave the device name as that. And that appears to have been it. Let's enter our super safe password. And here we are. So first things first, let's go ahead and change the, oh god, how do I do this? Up here. Let's change the um, resolution so that we can get a little bit better view here. These are some weird resolutions that are our options here. Uh, oh, there we go. We want a 16 by 9 aspect ratio here. And there we go. So as you can see, this is the desktop of Elementary OS. This actually does look very similar to Mac OS in a way. Um, it, you have a bar at the top. Again, it doesn't function the same as Mac OS, but your bar at the top should bring some level of familiarity. The dock should bring some level of familiarity. Um, overall, it just reminds me of Mac OS. Like I said, not a clone, but meant to be there for those users when they come over. So. Let's take a look up at the top where we have something different from Mac OS versus your file edit view menu. We have an applications menu um, as well as a search button that opens the same sort of start menu. This right here is where most of your applications and things are going to reside. This is very similar to your Windows start menu or I guess your launch pad in Mac OS. Um, by default, we have App Center, Calculator, Calendar, Camera, Code, Document Viewer, Feedback, Files, Mail, Multitasking, Music, Photos, Screenshot, Shortcuts, System Settings, Tasks, Terminal, Videos, and Web Installed. Moving on from that, we can also change it into a list, but personally, I like it like this. Then we have our date and time in the center, um, where you can click on that and get a full-on calendar here and our, an overview of our events. Over here we have our sound settings, network settings, notifications, and our power settings. Moving down to the bottom of the screen we see our dock, which by default has multitasking view pinned, files, web, mail, tasks, calendar, music, videos, photos, system settings, and app center. That was a notification that we just got that five updates are available for our system. Um, this brings us to a perfect opportunity to take a look at our actual window borders. We have rounded windows, and we have our maximize button on the right side of the screen, and an exit button on the left side of the screen. I don't like that, them being on two opposite sides of the window. By default, the web browser that is installed is 
I don't actually know what this is. I have never once seen this browser in my life. Apparently it's just called web. Oh wait, no. Is it Firefox? GNOME web browser. Okay, so this is a Linux GNOME web browser. Moving on from here, we can go ahead and close that out and take a look here at the App Store or the App Center um, just to see what kind of native apps we have here. Um, Open VM Tools Desktop is here, so I'm assuming that this goes off of the Ubuntu um, store because I know that is something available for Ubuntu operating systems um, and things of that nature. Taking a look down here at system settings, let's just see some of the things that we can customize here. Um, I'm not seeing an about anywhere. Maybe it's up here. Um, again, I'm not well versed in the world of Linux, so I'm sure someone with much more Linux experience. There we go. So this is built, there we go, Ubuntu 22.04.3 LTS. Um, and I do know that Elementary OS 8 is currently in development, so that is something to keep a look at over the next few months, I would assume. And so with that being said, this was just a brief overview of Elementary OS. Um, as you know, it is definitely familiar for Mac, distri for Mac users, but it is a little bit different. It is drastically different. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.